What is going on everyone? Welcome to the Thai Live channel. I'm Min Thai and in this Thai part today, I want to share with you guys my thought on this comment that's been going around the nail community, the beauty community. It's regarding a person stating that her lash tech up her price and then go online, floss her house, cars, fancy lifestyle. And she's not going to lie. She might not want to support that tech because she feel like that is scamming the client. She feel like she has to up her price just to meet her living standards. And of course, a lot of people agree with her. But I'm going to give you guys my two cents because this is not a black and white situation. There's a lot of levels to it. Before we start the show, you know how we like to get down. Uh, relax your thought, y'all. We about to get loaded up in here. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all. Now, before we get deep into this conversation about how people live and their lifestyle, let's just talk about nail technician real quick or lash technician or hairstylist, okay? And when we up our price. Because I know some of you guys, y'all want to look good. But y'all don't want to pay for it. Y'all want to keep the same price how it was in the year 2000. And it's not going to happen. So. Do you think we want to increase the price? No, we don't. We love our clients. We do. We love our clients. We don't ever want to increase the price. The person you want to blame. Is called inflation. And the person who creates inflation is all of us. The government. There's so many levels. Gas gone up. Supply gone up. Utility gone up. And if we keep the same price consistently for the client, how are we going to eat? Let alone how are we going to pay for the building? I mean, if you are the true client, you wouldn't complain about us increasing our price just to keep the lights up. You would not. You will understand because that's how things work. As time goes forward, things get more expensive because of technology, better product, better chemicals. There's all kind of different reasons and rhyme why prices increase. It's not just to meet our lifestyle, how we want a house. I mean, look, don't you want that for us? If you were a client supporting us, don't you want us to have a good life? And having a good life does not mean we have to increase a price on you. Let me break it down to you. In the nail tech world, there's a lot of different type of nail tech. You got broke ass nail tech. You got nail tech who just work slowly. You got nail tech who hustle. You got nail tech who got big goals. There's different levels of nail tech. And the one you go to is your choice. But each one of us nail tech operates differently. There are some who work six days, seven days. They save up. There are some nail tech out there, they don't even spend any money just to save up for the big thing. You don't know their background story. You look at people flaunting their cars, flaunting their houses, but you got to ask yourself, how did it get there? How did they get there? Instead of thinking you are the victim and they are utilizing you to pump the money into their living lifestyle. That's not how it works. Everybody have a different way of managing money. As a nail technician, we are self-employee. We are business of our own. So each one of us manage business differently. And if you feel like that person is charging you too much, then go somewhere else. It's that simple. But for you to not go to that tech, just because that tax has something nicer than you, better things than you, better lifestyle than you, then you need to look in the mirror and ask yourself what you're doing wrong. 
Because what if they're doing something right? What if every single penny that they make, they invest? Huh? You ever thought about having investment? There are so, as a nail technician, a lot of us don't even have one job. Just want to let you guys know that. We don't. I might be doing nails, but I'm at home making content. I'm out there selling product. I'm out there running salon. You don't know the background story and how they charge you has nothing to do. Do you think them charging you or raising $10 is going to make a big impact to their lifestyle? Come on, y'all. You think again. You think even if they raise $100, you think your $100 is going to make a big impact in their lifestyle? No. What they have, it was built from ground up, and we got to understand the background story behind it. So please, y'all, have a good understanding that when nail technician lash, when they are increasing their price, trust me, it's not something that's easy to do from the heart. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking for myself. I don't know about other techs, but I'm speaking like I don't like to, if anything, I feel more bad for the client because, you know, we tend to get to know the client very well and we become friends. Sometimes we invite each other out. We buy each other drinks. How do you increase a price on somebody who is so nice and genuine like that? You don't. It's so hard, but sometimes we have to increase the price based on lifestyle of circumstances like gas goes up, grocery goes up, um, electricity goes up, product goes up, shipping goes up, everything goes up. And if we continue to keep the price low, it's going to be hard for us to survive, y'all. Because do you think the landlord is going to stop increasing rent? If you guys are renting right now, do your landlord give you a break each year? It's rare. So we have to function. And on top of that, for those of you who's thinking like, oh, we flaunting because we increasing prices. Don't get mad when we increase the price. Let me tell you why. When you go to work, do you ever tell your boss not to give you a raise? Like, do you ever go into your boss office and say, um, hey, Cindy, um, do you mind? Just don't, don't give me a raise. You know what? Save that $1.50 raise for somebody else that needed more than me. I don't need, you know, I don't believe in raise. I don't. I hate it when I go get my nails done, my lashes done, and they increase the price on me. I don't like that. So you know what? Don't give me a raise. I don't need a raise. I don't believe in a raise. You would never do that. You would never. If anything, you will be happy for a raise. Go home, call everybody up. Hey, Mom, guess what? They just gave me a dollar fifty cents raise. Yeah, your baby's making money. I'm about to get that nails done. That's what you're going to do. That is what you're going to do when you get a raise. And us techs, like myself, I don't even increase the price that much. If I increase the price, it's literally, let's do a $5 more, $10 more. But how we live our lifestyle has nothing to do with us increasing the price on you. How we live our lifestyle we plant that shit. We plant that shit from the get-go. And we work day in, day out, building that seed, watering that seed until the plant grow. And guess what happened? And then when you met me as you, a client, you see I have this big, nice, fancy stuff. And you mad. What, because I increased the price on you? Come on. Y'all, y'all too petty for that. But that's my thought, y'all. Don't ever not go to tech because 
you think they got it all made and you feel like your contribution is helping them with this made, trust me, your little contribution helps, but it's not going to make a big impact like I said earlier. They love you. These Us techs like myself, I love the client. I care about your well-being. I want to make sure they feel good when they sit on my chair. I want to make sure they feel right when they sit on my chair. I don't want them to think about money. And that's me being real with y'all. Okay? And a lot of techs out there, they're like that. We still got to make a living. And we out there hustling every day, y'all. How we make our lifestyle better is each individual. You can't put every single nail tech like that just because we increased the price. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Mm, that was kind of deep, right? Let's get it, man. Relax your thought. Thank you for listening, y'all. Let's clear the air real quick. Woo! Yeah.